Welcome Delta Traders. In this video we're going to look at the Ensign custom packages and layouts. The custom packages are the packages that allow your charts to look like the charts that you see every day at Delta Trading Group. The charts that you see on your webinar. In order to see those charts you need to download what's called a custom package that has all the charting and specialty programming information that configures your charts for you. On the screen we have our Ensign 10 main menu and the way we download our, uh, well the first step we're going to do is, is download the custom packages. And the way we do that is we go to setup and we'll go to package. There's a little chevron under packages. Click on the chevron and you're going to go to server. When, it, when the server window first comes up or the package manager window first comes up you'll see the select site right now in the beginning you'll see the Ensign official folder you'll drop that box down and you'll select mentor folders now you need to get to the proper site name under the mentor folders if you drop the down arrow you'll see there's uh, in this version there's two sites fluidity trader and trend signal fluidity trader happens to be another trading group with uh, a lovely woman that runs that group she does a very good job very good group but we don't want either one of those groups we want Delta group so we have to type in Delta okay and then we need to move over to the right hand side and you're going to be downloading packages you're not going to be uploading so don't worry about the upload password you're going to be downloading now the downloading password is given to you um, when you join the group it's in your welcome email and it's in your instruction packages so uh, you'll be using that password if you have lost the password or if you lost your welcome email go ahead and give us a call at Delta and we'll give you the current download password once you do that you click on connect when you click on connect you're gonna see on the right hand side here several packages uh, the bottom 12 M01, M02, M03, all of those, those are packages for your playback feature when you want to go back and, and play back uh, any trading day from last year. I have all those packages all set up for you. Right now, you're not going to download those packages. You'll worry th about that in about a month or two. Okay? Uh, you're going to download one of the Delta Charts packages. Delta Trading Group, that's DTG Charts. You're going to download the latest package. In this case, it's April 4th, 2012. Okay, so you're going to click on that package. You're going to click on And Extract, because you want it to extract that package when it downloads it. And then you're going to click Download. Downloading package. Then you're going to click Yes to All. And it'll download that package, and it'll put it on the left-hand side of your screen. You'll have one there. I have two there right now because uh, I just do. But you'll have you'll have one. I usually keep the last version. I keep the last two versions actually. The first, the the last one, and then the the previ the one previous to that. Just in case somebody downloads a package, and for some reason it doesn't work on their computer or it's messed up, maybe I overlooked a, a setting. Well, that you can quickly without contacting me you can re-download the other package and make sure everything works okay we're gonna close this window and we're gonna go see if the package exists that's uh, under the main menu and under layout and you'll see that you have several layouts one of the layouts that you have is DTG TA TA stands for transact that's the main package that we use you also have a playback package and then you have a backup package for the playback and you have a backup package for the TA. The backup package, the backup packages are in case you mess one of those up, you can just rename your back your uh, uh, backup package and copy it and then you have a copy. But if you just mess everything up in the packages, just go re-download your packages and you know, say yes to all and it'll overwrite everything and you'll get back to where you were. So if you ever mess anything up, just go back and re-download your packages. Now, the package that we want to use, like I said, is the, the DTG TA package. What you'll do is you'll just click open, package. 
Now, you may want to click on this pin. It says pin to stay on top. That's so that your Ensign uh, toolbar will stay on top when you open up your packages. So just click on open. It'll open up your packages. Mine opened up to another screen, so I'm going to drag them down here to this screen so you can see them. There you go. There's my packages. Or there's my, uh, uh, I'm sorry, my charts. And these charts are all stacked so that you can click on the different charts to, you know, view the different charts in a nice, tidy little stack. You can actually unstack them and, and up and, um, uh, open up other charts and all kinds of things as you go along, but uh, just you know work with this for now. Okay, whenever you want to close your layouts, you click on layout, and you you say no. You always say no. It says, do you want to resave your layout? No. Right? You may have accidentally made a change, and you don't want to accidentally save it. And then you go to layouts, and then you say close all if you want to close them. Open them if you want to open them. All right, and then lay out, don't save them, and close them when you want to close them. Do not use the red X in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to open these and, and bring them down again so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. There we go. Do not use your red X's up here to close these charts. You'll close a, a chart off of your stack and you won't know how to get it back. You could possibly minimize these things. Sometimes you'll, you'll notice that your charts will open and flash and then they'll disappear. Well, they're minimized somewhere on one of your screens and you just can't see them. They're there and you'll call me up and you'll argue with me and say, hey, the charts aren't there and I can't find them. I say, they're there somewhere. You just have to find them. So sometimes you have to unplug all your external monitors and then try to get everything on one monitor to find your charts because you have saved a layout when you didn't mean to save your layout and you saved them minimized somewhere hidden. So you never want to use these these minimize, maximize buttons or red X's uh, unless you unless you have to. All right. Again, if you want to close everything, just go to main layout, say no, don't save it, and then close all, and you can close those charts. So as long as you do that, you can't hardly mess them up. But if you do mess them up, <laughs> which everybody does eventually, uh, go back to Setup, Packages, Server, you know, and re-download your packages. And then Yes to All and just open them back up again. Okay? So that's how you set up your packages. If you have any problems, give me a call uh, here at uh, Delta Trading, and we'll help you out from there. But... Uh, Download those packages and, and get to know them. Again, if you go to help in your main menu, uh, there are all kinds of videos and a video library of all kinds of videos that will help you utilize Ensign. Now, Ensign's not going to know anything about my charts. Um, they know a little bit about my charts, but they're not going to be able to support you on my charts in terms of trading on my charts and those sorts of things. All right, But they can help you with some basics. Uh, in terms of you know the features of Ensign, how to use Ensign. So if you mess up your charting, go ahead and download your, your configuration files again uh, if it's a, a, another general Ensign issue, uh, you go ahead and give Ensign a call. And it's a really good idea to go and re review all the Ensign videos anyway just so you know uh, what you're working with. Anyway, this is Delta Trading. You have a great trading day. Remember, we ride the range of change.